My name's Julian, and this is the $1 to $10,000 thrifting challenge. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Penny money go around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. <laughs> what is good, everyone? It's been a minute since the last update to this series. I know you guys have probably missed it, but you know what that means? A lot has happened since then. Gonna go over a few things very quickly. I wanna get straight into the thrifting, but we got huge updates. First off, we gotta talk about, I bought some things in some other videos that I've posted on this channel. In my last Illinois Vintage Fest video, I ended up going thrifting in that video and I bought three hoodies. And then I also bought a huge pile of clothes from some people across from me. They just had a huge $5 pile and gave me a steal. So I grabbed a bunch of things from them. After that, we're like just under $1,000, but that doesn't matter at all because I had a lot of sales. I sold damn near over a hundred pieces of clothes. So our new balance for the start of today's video is over $3,000. We have made a huge jump. It feels really good. Overall, I'm just excited. We're getting closer and closer to finishing this challenge. I just need to do a few more events, keep selling online. If you want any vintage, check out my Depop, top of the description, and let's get right into thrifting. Walking out the crib, we about to hit a thrift. I actually have not gone thrifting in a fat minute, to be honest. I've just been catching up on editing videos, planning some new shit coming up, working on my clothing brand. I'm working on a relaunch of my clothing brand. I did a brand back in COVID year, 2020. Um, it's called Memory Brand. Uh, I had like 100K followers on TikTok at the time. So that shit was crazy. But we're doing a little relaunch because I haven't done shit for it in like a year because I've just been living life, man, and had to take a creative break from that. But we coming back. I got some crazy cut and sew pieces coming out. City life is beautiful out here, man. But yeah. We're gonna hit, I think, a village discount outlet. One that I've already been to because I really liked this one last time I went, so I'm gonna check it out again. Right now, the fit's kinda going, it's going all right, man. Got a little eighth wonder tee, the vague hat, some corduroy pants, some Air Forces. It's a, it's a light fit, but let's go, let's go find some shit here, man. I literally have not been thrifting, like I said, in a fat minute. I wanna say like two or three weeks, bro. I, I took a big break because I just have a fuck ton of inventory. I've spent a lot of time trying to update the Depop, as you guys have seen. I am working on the apartment tour video, so that's just coming soon. Be on the lookout for that. I'm across the street real quick. And yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. And here we are, back at it again, with some baddies out front. Okay. Definitely not gonna talk to them though. <laughs> Dude, look at all those tees up there, bro. That Batman one is crazy. And they got a bunch of cool vintage hats, bro. They got that Daytona one. They charge them way too much, though. Got the jerseys up there, too. Oh, it makes me so mad. I want them. I want all of it. Batman T $70. That's crazy. Like usual, this place has hella good shit, but everything that's pretty decent is white tagged and upcharged out its ass. So, like, I mean, this isn't even too crazy. This is only 2010 T, and they got it 10 bucks. So I still want to show you because. I don't know, it's so cool to find shit like this at the Thrift, even though it ain't Thrift pricing. So yeah, we got this championship ring, Stanley Cup, Blackhawks tee. Then this is more reasonable, you know, five bucks for this. Blackhawks tee right here. It's a new school, so I'm debating getting it because even though it, it is Mickey Mouse, like it's a pretty cool tee. I, I'm debating it for sure. Then we got some like cool vintage tees, bro, like this Giants tee. Actually, this might be 2013. Vikings helmet, fire, 970. This might be actually be my favorite, bro. This 2000 Indiana Pacers Eastern Conference shirt, bro. Stained a little bit, and they got it for $12. But, like, that's a cool piece. In memory of our fallen brothers, front side, back side, all men are created equal, and then a few become brothers. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought that one was cool. This jacket's pretty sweet. Got a nice little hit there. Embroidery's kind of coming off. Probably going to pass on this. And then I might get this jacket for myself. I need to try it on. Just a nice little gray jacket. And then I also found... Planet Hollywood coin holder. That shit's fire, I might keep that. This working Batman clock, bro, look at that. That thing's sweet. Definitely grabbing those. Yeah, so I only walked away grabbing those two collectible pieces, Batman and the Planet Hollywood. And I also did get that jacket for myself. I tried it on, it actually looked pretty sweet. So happy I got that. But as far as like anything else, it was too expensive, man. Like I don't fuck with that, that's, that's, that's messed up, bro. But that Batman tee was sick. 
And then I saw some like Super Bowl tees they had hanging up as well in a different area. It's like, bro, they got all these sick ass finds charging $20 a pop. That shit's fucking wild at a thrift store, you know? But yeah, I, I timed it pretty well. You know, you gotta pay for parking in Chicago when you fucking drive places. So I had to like, you know, it's like, it's like a game right now. I'm trying to figure it out. How long do I actually take at the thrift? I feel like I went pretty quick today and that was about like 45, 50 minutes. I did buy like an hour and 15 minutes. So went a little over, paid a little too much. And now I got some extra time. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll hit another thrift cause that was a little disappointing. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go to another one. <laughs> Let me look what's around and I'm gonna go to one. Let's get it. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Hey, we're back at this family thrift, Salvation Army. I've been here about like four times now, I think. It's not bad. Prices are a little expensive, but you can find a gem or two. Never mind, that place fucking blows. <laughs> like there was nothing in there. Like, and it's already like pretty empty. But the good thing about that is it's like in and out. I was only in there for like 10 minutes and I got some jorts that I don't even know if they fit me or not because the fitting room is closed. So um, it's jorts season, hopefully these fit. I think I'm gonna go to one more thrift just cause I can, you know, fuck it, why not? I'm not sure how like me missing thrifting, having not gone in a while, I was like, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna go check out a thrift today. And now I'm going to my third thrift today. Like I wasn't expecting that. And also there's a parking lot for this thrift. And last time I parked on the street, so I'm pissed about that. I want my $3 back. Yup, number two of the day. And just look at all the cool shit up there. All those bullshits, bro. Come on. I want them. Give them to me. <laughs> all right, so I just finished up in here. Basically just found a bunch of like shirts and stuff. They just have everything good on the wall. And I found a few that would be on the wall that were in the racks. For example, something like this, Coca-Cola jersey, Ireland, bro. This thing is so sweet, bro, but $28? Come on. The most I'd pay for this is like 10, maybe. But it is a really cool jersey. Like I would wear this, that thing's fucking sweet. Another example, $20. Oh, you think it's a Bears tee? Well, someone stitched some shit into it. That back graphic is actually fucking sick. Another example, this SeaWorld all over print, $6. Not too bad though. But I mean, it's kind of a cool graphic. I might still get it for six bucks. Same with this bull shirt, kind of a shitty front. I like the back though. They had this at like $7, that's crazy. Advanced Warfare tee, $8, no shot. And then we get into some regional price stuff, $1.70, nice old bulls tee. Adidas long sleeve, this is embroidered, $2.70, not terrible. Got an arm sleeve right here too. Dolphin shirt, $1.20. You love to see those prices. Those are good prices. This actually might be my favorite tee I found. I made some bad choices. I don't know. It's just like a really funny tee. I hope this fits me. I might keep that shit. That, that just looks sick. And then another funny one is go hard, put in, get off. Gotta read the fine print. Go hard every shift. Put it in the net. Get off the ice. The store has an unreasonable amount of hockey shit. And it was pretty annoying, but... That one's actually kind of funny. And that's pretty much everything. There was a bunch of cool things in the walls, like random bullshit that they had for like $70 and higher and Mickey Mouse and Taz and Looney Tunes. I ain't getting all that. So I'm done in here. Gotta go home and work out. Peace. I just tried on the shorts. Fuck, you guys can't see. Oh yeah. What we think? They actually kind of fit, even though they're rolled up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that wraps up today's video. I just want to say how happy I am to see how much progress I've made recently in this challenge. I'm going to keep working on this. We're going to reach that $10,000 goal. But on top of that, I'm also really excited for a bunch of new videos that I have coming out very soon. So if you want to see those videos, you know what you got to do. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment your favorite piece from today's finds. Just to let you guys in on a few of the new videos that I got coming out very soon. One of them is obviously the apartment tour. We're working on that. I just kind of want to make my room look a little better. That's pretty much it. Uh, another video is my reaction to going to the Goodwill bins for the first time. I filmed that with my friend Manny. So you guys are going to see that very soon. Also might be working on an outfit challenge from thrifting with Manny as well. So 
that's very cool. And I'm gonna continue to keep working on this series. I guarantee you in the next video or two, we will be at that 5,000 mark halfway through. I'm super excited for that because once we're there, there's just like nothing can go wrong at that point. I don't wanna jinx myself, but like we got a good balance and we can pretty much buy anything and everything. I just have to work hard at going to these events and selling online and making sure I'm consistent on posting on Depop. I don't know, I'm just really happy. Today's video was a little shorter. Um, you'll see why in the next video because the thrift trips that I did kind of are all in unison for next week. I, I don't know how to explain it. You'll see in the next video. So definitely, like I said already, make sure to subscribe so you see that. That's pretty much all I got. Check out that Depop, check out my whatnot, check out my Instagram, TikTok, my clothing brand. Check it all out, it's all in the description. I just wanna say that I appreciate y'all and I'm looking forward to this challenge being over. <laughs> all right, peace guys.